Hey people of YouTube, today we're covering the complete installation of the 52 inch Denton ceiling fan by Home Decorators Collection. This is an easy project, but if you found this video, you might be looking for some help, we're here to do just that. We've already unpacked the fan, we're going to go over all the parts and go step by step through the entire installation all the way to turning it on and everything in between, so stick with us and we'll get you through it. If you want to fast forward to any point in the video, use the links below and that'll take you to each different point in the installation process and that way you don't have to watch the whole video. If after watching the video you found it helpful, please click like and subscribe and that'll help other people find it as well. Let's just talk about the Denton ceiling fan for a second. It's got some great quick fit installation features like a slide on mounting bracket, a twist and lock light shade, and a quick connect wire harness plug on the receiver and these features make the installation go much easier. It also has a really cool color changing LED light kit that gives you the option of three different color temperatures ranging from 2700K warm white to 3000K soft white to 5000K daylight, so matching with your home's current lighting scheme isn't going to be an issue. It has a convenient remote control and four blades and it's damp rated, making it perfect for use in covered outdoor locations like porches and patios, but it's going to look great indoors as well. Just a couple of notes before we get started. Please make sure that the electricity is turned off at the breaker box and at the wall switch. If you don't feel comfortable working around electricity, please consult with a licensed electrician. And one other note is if you're hanging this fan where there is just a light fixture on your ceiling, you need to make sure that the outlet box is clearly marked acceptable for fan support. If not, you'll need to swap that out before beginning. Now as you can see here, we've already unpacked the fan and we've opened up the manual to the parts page. We're just going to go over all the parts to make sure we have everything before beginning and that way we don't get stuck along the way. So first up, you have the slide on mounting bracket. That comes pre-installed inside the canopy with a decorative ring on the bottom. And we'll show you in the first step how to remove that to get started. You have four blades, the ball and down rod assembly, the LED light kit, the decorative motor collar cover, the shadow resistant plastic light shade, the light kit pan, the fan motor, you have the remote receiver. The receiver has a quick connect wire harness plug to make connecting to the fan quick and easy, and the battery is included for your convenience. You'll also have a hardware pack that has the blade attachment screws, the plastic wire nuts, and a hanger and locking pin. If installing the fan with an extension drum rod, you'll have a bit of extension wiring as well. Now one quick note about the fan before we get started. On top of the fan here, you'll see this hole. This is a screwdriver access hole. When you're attaching the blades, the screwdriver will go through this to give you access to the blade screws. We'll cover this in detail as we go. It's just an important note to know about before we get started. So we have all the parts here. Just some tools we're going to need for this easy project. It's a Phillips head screwdriver. We like to have a long one and a short one on hand. You may need some wire cutters and strippers. We like to have a line voltage tester to make sure the wires aren't live before we begin. You'll need some electrical tape and of course a ladder. So we have everything here, we're ready to begin. Let's do this. The mounting bracket comes pre-installed inside the canopy with the decorative ring attached. To remove the mounting bracket, first pull off the decorative ring. It's magnetic, so it just pulls off. You'll notice an alignment post at the base of the canopy. You'll need to loosen, but not remove, the two screws in the base of the canopy, enough so that that alignment post can exit that hole. Once those two screws are loosened, you'll simply lift and twist the mounting bracket to remove it from the canopy. This fan features a slide-on mounting bracket for easy installation. The bracket has two keyhole slots that will align with the two screws in the outlet box. Simply align the slots of the mounting bracket with the screws in the outlet box and then slide to hold in place before tightening. This is just a demonstration. To install the mounting bracket, Begin by using a Phillips head screwdriver to loosen, but not remove, the two screws in the outlet box. Next, feed the house supply lines through the mounting bracket and align the slots of the mounting bracket with the screws that were loosened in the outlet box. Then slide the mounting bracket into place. Then, use a Phillips head screwdriver to completely tighten both of the outlet box screws and secure the mounting bracket. Make sure that both screws are completely tightened.
Before attaching the blades, you'll need to remove the cardboard motor stops from on top of the fan motor assembly. You can discard them once removed. To attach the blades to the fan, you'll need the bag of blade attachment screws from the hardware pack. Open up the bag and remove the screws. Before attaching the blades to the fan, make sure the side of the blade labeled this side up is facing towards the ceiling. The blades attach to the fan using three screws in each blade. The screw holes in the blade will align with the screw holes on the fan motor assembly. There are two screw holes on the outer edge of the fan motor assembly and then one that is accessed through the screwdriver access hole on the top of the motor assembly. Align the screw holes of the fan blade with the screw holes in the fan motor and then start two of the screws. Once those two screws are started, completely tighten those two screws using a Phillips head screwdriver. Once those two screws are completely tightened, insert the third screw through the screwdriver access hole. That will align the third screw hole of the fan blade with that third hole in the motor. Completely tighten this screw. Repeat this process for the three remaining blades. Before attaching the down rod, you'll need to use a Phillips head screwdriver to loosen but not remove the two set screws located on the motor collar. Next, gently pull the green ground wire from inside the ball and down rod assembly. Then, place the canopy on the down rod so that the down rod exits the smallest hole of the canopy. Next, place the decorative ring on the down rod. Make sure the black side with the notches is facing towards the canopy. The last piece is the decorative motor collar cover. Slide that onto the down rod, making sure that the largest opening is facing towards the end of the down rod. Then gently feed the wires through the bottom of the down rod so that they exit through the ball portion. Gently pull the wires through until the down rod meets the motor collar at the top of the motor. Insert the down rod into the motor collar. Locate the hanger pin in the hardware pack and align the holes at the end of the down rod with the holes in the motor collar. Insert the hanger pin through one hole so that it goes through the down rod and exits the hole on the opposite side of the motor collar. Then take the locking pin and insert that into the hole in the end of the hanger pin until it snaps in place. Once the hanger pin and locking pin have been set, use a Phillips head screwdriver to completely tighten the two set screws on the motor collar. Once those screws are tight, Slide the motor collar cover down and rest the canopy ring and canopy on the motor collar cover. To prepare the remote, start by removing the battery compartment cover. Install the included battery according to the diagram inside the battery compartment. If you have more than one remote control fan in the house, it's a good idea to change the dip switches in the remote and the receiver. The dip switches in the remote are located inside the battery compartment. The dip switches on the receiver are located under a rubber plug. Simply pull the plug up to expose the dip switches. And use a small tool to set those switches to any combination of up or down. You can set the dip switches to any combination as long as both the remote and the receiver have the same dip switch settings. Once the dip switches are set, replace the rubber plug on the receiver and then replace the battery compartment cover onto the remote. Before hanging the fan, it's important to note the slot in the ball that will engage the tab in the mounting bracket. When hanging, you'll insert the ball into the mounting bracket and then rotate the fan assembly until you feel the slot engage the tab. This is just a close-up demonstration. To hang the fan, lift the assembly up to the ceiling, noting the location of the tab in the slot. Slide the ball into the mounting bracket and then rotate the assembly until you feel that slot engage the tab in the mounting bracket. The fan will drop slightly when properly seated. When installing the receiver, make sure the flat side of the receiver is facing towards the ceiling. You'll notice that one side of the receiver has the quick connect plug that will connect to the fan wiring. The other side of the receiver has two wires to connect to the house wiring. Insert the receiver into the mounting bracket with the antenna side first so that the receiver rests on the ball and downrod assembly. 
begin wiring the fan by taking the plug from the fan wires and inserting that into the plug from the receiver. The connectors will simply snap together. Next, take the green wire from the ball and down rod assembly and twist that wire together with the green wire from the mounting bracket. Next, connect the green wires to the bare copper house wire. This is the ground connection. Finish the connection using a plastic wire nut and a piece of electrical tape. Next, take the white wire from the receiver and twist that wire together with the white wire from the house supply lines. These are the neutral connections. Twist those two wires together and finish the connection using an included plastic wire nut and a piece of electrical tape. Finally, take the red wire from the receiver and twist that wire together with the black house supply wire. Finish the connection using an included plastic wire nut and a piece of electrical tape. Once all the wire connections have been made, gently tuck the wires around the mounting bracket and into the outlet box to make room for the canopy to attach. The canopy attaches to the mounting bracket using two keyhole slots on either side of the canopy that will align with the two screws at the base of the mounting bracket. Align those holes with the screws in the mounting bracket and push the canopy up so the screws come through the keyhole slots and then twist to hold the canopy in place. Use a Phillips head screwdriver to tighten those screws and secure the canopy. You can tilt the fan to make extra room for the screwdriver to access the screws. Make sure both screws are completely tight. The decorative ring is magnetic. You just need to align the slots of the decorative ring with the two screws at the base of the canopy, and then slide the decorative ring up and it will attach itself to the bottom of the canopy. The light kit pan attaches to the fan using two keyhole slots and one standard screw hole. These will align with the three screws on the black bracket at the base of the motor. Begin by removing and saving one of the three screws using a Phillips head screwdriver. Then loosen, but do not remove, the two remaining screws in the black bracket. Feed the wires from the fan through the center hole and align the keyhole slots of the light kit pan with those screws in the black bracket and then push up and twist to hold the light kit pan in place. Then use the screw that was removed and saved and a Phillips head screwdriver and insert the screw into the standard screw hole of the light kit pan. Completely tighten that screw and then tighten the two remaining screws in the keyhole slots. Make sure all three screws are completely tight. The LED light kit attaches to the fan in the same way, using two keyhole slots and one standard screw hole. These will align with the three screws in the light kit pan. Begin by first removing and saving one screw, and then loosening, but not removing, the two remaining screws in the light kit pan. Next, connect the LED module to the fan by inserting the plugs from the LED module into the wires from the fan. Connect the white wire from the LED module to the white wire from the fan and the black wire from the LED module to the blue wire from the fan. The plugs will snap together when properly inserted. Once the wire connections are made, tuck the wires up into the light kit pan and align the keyhole slots of the light kit with the two screws that were loosened in the light kit pan. Press up and twist to engage those two screws. Then use the screw that was removed and saved and insert that into the standard screw hole of the light kit and completely tighten using a Phillips head screwdriver. Once that screw is completely tightened, completely tighten the two remaining screws in the light kit pan. The light shade uses a twist lock system to connect to the fan. There are three flat sides on the light shade that will align with the three nubs inside the light kit pan. Align the flat sides of the light shade with the three nubs in the light kit pan then press the light shade up and twist clockwise until tight. The fan is controlled by the included remote control. Press the power button to turn the fan and light on and off. Press the fan speed button to cycle through the fan's three speeds. 
Press and release the light control button to turn the light on or off. Press and hold the light button to cycle through the dimming function. The color temperature button will allow you to cycle through the three light settings of the LED module. The default setting is for soft white at 3000K. Press and release this button to change the color settings. It will cycle from soft white to daylight to warm white and back to soft white. This fan features a three-speed reversible motor. The reverse switch is located on top of the motor housing underneath the motor collar cover. Switch left creates a downward airflow for use in the warmer months. Switch right creates an upward airflow to pull warm air from the ceiling for use in the cooler months. Make sure the fan is off before attempting to reverse the switch position. Congratulations, your ceiling fan installation is now complete. Time to sit back, relax with a nice tall beverage, and enjoy your new ceiling fan. As always, thanks for watching, and if you found this video helpful, please click like and subscribe down below, and that'll help other people find it as well. And as we always say around here, keep it breezy.